Matt Damon coming to Meridian in July for the premiere of his newborn movie. Yeah. And this will be the third time that he's been here, too, because the uh, producers actually at once one time lived here, from what I understand. Oh. Um, yeah. And there's more info online if you want to buy tickets for the premiere. Yeah, they're going sale at the him. end of this month. It would be for July 20th is when it's going to happen at the Village at Meridian. There's more info online at 1035kissfmboise.com. So we were talking about our biggest celebrity run-ins, the biggest celebrity you ever met. And I'll go first because mine's easy. Uh, when Justin Bieber was 15 years old, right when the song Baby came out, yeah. um, he, we did a concert with him in Fort Wayne, Indiana, home of Johnny Apple. Seed, and I got to sing on stage with Justin Bieber at 15 years old. Like legit sing? Mm-hmm. I have it on YouTube. It's like that, that's like my biggest claim to fame. I sang on stage with Justin Bieber when he was 15 years old. What'd you sing? Uh, I sang "Baby" to him, and oh. he thought I was a terrible singer. He was 15. That's does this feel weird? And he had like the cute little dome hair. Remember he yeah, was remember cute. In the side remember? Side. I think he's still cute. So apparently your celebrity story is way better than mine. Well, no, I was just thinking about like meeting Matt Damon. What do you do when you meet a celebrity? Like nothing really happens. You can just like tell a story about it. Yeah. So one time in my life, I used to interview a lot of people. That was my job. And I interviewed. Humble brag. Well, it was at one time. I don't know anymore. It's not fun because like nothing happens. You talk to them. They forget about you. You move on. Right. 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 So Drew Barrymore was promoting something. I love her so much. She's adorable. I love Drew Barrymore. I've always loved her. And I knew that when she, because I tried to find something different to talk about. So I knew that when I was talking to her that I was going to be going to LA in like a week. I'm a brag. So I, no, no, no. It was one of these like random trips. So I started researching all these places that celebrities go. Robertson, like where all the Kardashians are and everything like that. Cause yeah. I wanted to have like a celeb sighting. So I told her on the phone, Hey, I'm coming to LA. I'm going to come say, Hey. And she's like, all right, cool. I was like, meet me at your gate. Ha ha. Totally funny. At so, the airport. No, like just at the gate at her house. I assumed she had like one of those gates. Oh, you're a creeper. Fun- I was just being like, ah, it's, it's, like, not, totally funny. it's not funny. It's creepy. All right. So fast forward a week later, go to LA, go on Robertson, go to like the celebrity eating places, trying to find somebody. And I go to this like breakfast place with my friend and she and I are sitting down and we look across and I'm like, is that Drew Barrymore? And she's like, oh my gosh. Really? We just talked to her. So I go walk over to her. Stage five clinger. <laughs> and I crouch down so I, as not to draw attention. The second I crouch down, all these security people come around. They're like, Miss Barrymore, is she bothering you? And she's like, no, no, no. So I go up to her and I'm like, I'm going to sound super creepy, but my name is Tasha. I just talked to you. I said, I feel weird now that I'm telling you this. I, I'm like regretting coming over here because I feel like an idiot. She's like, no, 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 it's fine. The sweetest person in the whole world. I like mid conversation, just leave and go back and sit down. So when we're getting to leave, we go to pay and they say, oh, Miss Barrymore bought your breakfast. Oh, that is I really was like, sweet. What? <laughs> that was like the moment in my life. I could like. So this this reiterates two things for me. One, I've always thought you were kind of creepy. Now I think you're really creepy. Totally. Two, I've always thought she was kind of sweet. Now she's really sweet. Yeah. I don't know how to act. That's the thing. I, in life in general, really. No, I'm so awkward. Uh, 384 1035. Uh, you're talking about your celebrity run ins. Who's this? This is Lucy. Who is the biggest celebrity you ever met? You know what? I have one of those like claim to fame. I got the poop in Roseanne Barr's toilet. What? Like, yeah, up in Lake Arrowhead, California. My dad was doing a tree trimming job on our property. I was hoping for like a really sexy story. Like, oh my God, I got to <laughs> hang out with like Ryan Gosling and rub his abs. No, I took a dump in Roseanne's toilet. That's probably the worst celebrity story I've ever heard in my no, life. Oh, it's the best. It's awful. Uh, yeah, it's all for a matter of opinion, Chris. 384 1035. Gabby, when you were serving in the military, who did you meet? Um, I met Steven Spielberg and um, Tom Hanks. What? Dude. Uh, when, when I was in France. What? Um, we were doing the, we were, my unit was helping celebrate the 60th anniversary of T-Day. So you met Tom Hanks and Steven Spielberg, the biggest director and movie star of all time in France. Yes. That is literally the sexiest sentence I've ever spoken in my entire life.